What's up, guys? Uh, I'm James Meany. I am a professional photographer um, based not too far out of London, just by the River Thames. Tides out, but oh, there's a river there. This is the beautiful Maisie. Hello. She comes on most of my little adventures with me. Um, so today, from um, what you can see by the words underneath this video, is we're going to be making a pinhole lens for our camera. So yeah, stick around. We're going to show you all of the pictures that we took at the end, um, all of the good ones anyway, and yeah, showing you how to do it, what to shoot, and we'll see you there. And I don't want you thinking I don't like dogs. I love dogs. I think about stealing dogs all the time. <laughs> Cleaner. Perfect. And I think we're ready to roll. Mm. What you need is is uh, one of these. Really good for like hiding like drugs or SD cards in. You basically cut a hole in the middle bit, you get a bit of paper, tape it on the outside, and then just pinch a pin for it. The last time I did it, I can't remember if I used a knife, scissors, or a corkscrew. So I've got a knife, scissors, and two corkscrews. And I'm just hoping that um, we'll be able to, to get things going. But make sure you do this at home. Don't be walking around the streets with a knife, obviously. Just, you know, don't be a dickhead. Right, so, just like stab at it. <laughs> I'm joking, don't do that. Um, I think last time I did it, I did a corkscrew first. So, obviously, you don't even need to do this on a Canon. We're shooting on a 5D Mark III today, which is my old camera, which I just can't get rid of. I love her so much. She's a workhorse. Um, so, yeah, but if you are using a Canon or Sony or whatever, just always aim for the middle. Careful doing this, like... If you're a young kid and, you know, people care about you still, then get someone to, um, get someone to do this for you. But I'm a, I'm an old ass man now, so no one really cares if I cut my finger off making a YouTube video for my zero subscribers. Hey, be my, be my first subscriber. Yeah. All right, we're done. We got the hole all the way through. See through that? Yeah. Can you? Hey, there you uh, are. Uh, so that's our pinhole. One thing to bear in mind, cameras, they get their f-stop information from the lens that is on the camera. So for example, if you've got like a fixed 50 millimeter, this f-stop, um, numbers wise we're talking, not in terms of aperture itself, can go to um, f16 or down to f1.2. So if you've ever got a camera and um, you've looked at lenses and settings and you can't understand why the f-stop on your particular lens won't go down to a certain number. It's because of the information comes from the lens itself and not from the camera. So when we've got a lens that is made out of a plastic cap, there's obviously zero information going to our little dials in there. Therefore, the camera doesn't know what to do. So the camera's f-stop number will just remain zero, zero. There is no aperture, there is no f-stop whatsoever. So the only thing that we need to watch out for is obviously is our shutter speed. So that when we're shooting, our shutter speed still stays quite quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go walk around. Uh, we're gonna go to mine and Maisie's favorite beach um, and bridge, because I like bridges and Maisie likes beaches. Yeah. Let's um, let's go. Let's do it. go. <laughs> let's go. What was I going to talk about? So. There's not a lot of practical reason why you would have a pinhole lens on your camera. There isn't that much practical reason at all, other than if you're bored and you want sort of a challenge, it's good to go out. I think as photographers, it's good to go out and try and express new ways or find new ways of um, being able to take photos. This is hard, it's obviously a very difficult hard lens, like, lens to shoot with, but if you can go out and make something out of it, then um, it's just worth challenging yourself as a photographer. The style of picture, very sort of abstract, um, not much substance to them, but 
if you can find really, really good composition and think about your composition a lot more, even just with the pinhole lens and you can get a good photo, it's good to know that you've sort of, you know, put an Xbox game on the hardest difficulty and still, still, still had fun doing it. So that's basically the only point I could see in a pinhole lens. But yeah, try it for yourselves, let me know. Um, but yeah, let's go take some shots. Um, these geese, yeah, the ones that are making all that noise over there, they're Brent geese, and I think that they come from Siberia mm. and they come here to the River Thames. I don't know why they come to the River Thames. Um, is it because of the algae? Yeah. They eat a certain type of algae that is here in the River Thames. Mm. Um, yeah, and here they are. And here, here we are, are as well. They're loud. They're very loud. It might look nice, but it stinks. Mmm, stinky. And that dog is annoying. And I don't want you thinking I don't like dogs. I love dogs. I think about stealing dogs all the time. It's really fun to play with like strong contrasting shadows. So obviously sun's a lot lower in the sky. And the shadows are really strong, so. Because obviously there isn't too much substance that can get into the lens, it's good to have uh, really, really contrasting like highlights and shadows as opposed to just flat ambient light. If you do do this, I wouldn't recommend going in the middle of the day or on like a cloudy day where everything's really flat and there's a lot of ambient light. You want really, really strong, punchy shadows and really, really sharp, uh, bright highlights. <laughs> If you want a camera that like you could kill someone with and won't ever break, get a 5D Mark III. So first of all, I'd just like to quickly apologize about the audio today. I didn't have access to a microphone, but here are some of the pictures that I managed to shoot today when out walking with Maisie. As I said, you don't need to focus too much on the technical side with the shutter speed and the aperture. It's just cool to go out, give yourself a new challenge and focus on nothing but composition. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, as I said, it's just a cool way to challenge yourself as a photographer. I feel like you're in a rut or you need a bit of inspiration or you just want something new to shoot and you're fed up with shooting the same thing. Um, yeah, it's cool. Go out. Let me know how it goes. I'd love to see your guys' pictures too. So if any of you are on Instagram, feel free to give me a tag. It's Buster Meanie Photo. Um, yeah, give me a tag and I'd love to see what you guys get up to. Shoots. <laughs>